I sigh, I put my hand to my head, and I'm like... Uh, Anyone else well, getting a headache from all this? <laughs> yes. Uh, what, what do you guys wish to do? This is... This is not working out terribly well. If 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 we let them go, which we obviously have to, I think they're just going to go straight back to where they were, and the succubi will likely just be there waiting for them. Um, they they didn't seem to follow us out. I, I I think they knew we wanted them to follow us out, so they they just haven't come. I think we've made it as plain as can be to them that. They were under the influence of something. If they want to go back to that, then that is their choice. They're my broken slaves. And Arthur walks off. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't seem to be acting rationally, even even after breaking I, I, from the I spell. I think their wills have been broken by by countless. Arthur won't mention. Regardless, I think there is. Yeah. There's something else here. We may not be able to help these gnomes, but if we allow them to go back and and they build some sort of settlement, uh, the succubi will affect more people. How or, many or people per- can these succubus affect? Well, just imagine what they would they would do if they they instead traveled into the town. Alton, how many can they affect? Do you know? Uh, that would depend. Uh, some of these creatures have a limited time, some, uh, so many times they can chance such people. Others, uh, it can be as much time as they want. It depends on the demon. Well, if, if, if we're taking simple ratios here, there was four of them and twelve of the males. So each one of them was at least able to affect three over the period of time. And uh, we... I don't think we can assume that that is their their maximum capacity. I true. They seem to be building a giant trap. Uh, I would. Uh, I would. I would that. almost think we have to let them go back, and then try to catch the four again. That would take a lot of time, I imagine, though. The only. I mean, I, I can only see a couple options here. Uh, we let them go back and we move on, uh, which doesn't doesn't strike me. Uh, I, I feel obligated. Uh, we go back and try to get there, you know, ahead of them and see if we can hunt down these succubi, which it, it didn't seem like that was very feasible, or we could search for help. Uh, I am certainly not used to dealing with these beings, and I don't think anyone else here is either. We could, we could, however, find someone in one of the nearby towns. Uh, perhaps one of the the member of the uh, one of the orders could could come out. I, I just we do not have the experience and the expertise to deal with these alone. I do not think. Uh, that's that's if we even want to deal with them. Well, I, I for one, I, I don't think I can leave the situation as it is. Well, but there was that priesthood in Alhamor. Arthur says rather doubtfully. <laughs> yes, they did seem to be, at least from your story somewhat reticent about helping uh, non-humans, but... I, but it is close to their town. <laughs> yes, I, I think they would see it as an imminent danger. I mean, it's what, one I day's would, journey? <laughs> I would agree to that. Any of the uh, traders or travelers coming along the road from the two towns would uh, possibly be affected by the succubi. What, what says everyone else? Ruth says back. Back where? <laughs> oh, you're back. Okay, you went AFK. Sorry. I thought that was your vote. Uh, go back. Uh, 
That is, and that is a good point. The finding them is the problem. And at the very least, we would have to bring these gnomes back. I, I, I would not feel comfortable leaving them out in the wilderness. Uh, I think, I think perhaps the plan, the plan should be to, to travel back now that they are not enthralled, at least, um, to bring them back. And if if we can find them while we are there. Uh, that would be our primary objective. If we, if we do not have luck, we should make our way back to Elhemlor, and and find a a priest or priests to to come back and and help us excise this this evil. And how long do you think we wait at uh, Nomtropolis? I think we. I think we're all pretty tired, and we need to rest. But once we get back there, I think we should just just search for them. And if we are not able to find them within a day, I, I think we should move to to find help. And what about the male gnomes? Keep them tied up, like in the stable or something? No, I believe I believe we need to uh, to let them go. Um, I wasn't Ruth. <laughs> I was smiling. <laughs> We can only hold them for so long, and uh, and I think it would it would not be wise to to keep them captive uh, after the, the spell is broken. It would only serve to possibly reinforce the the hold of the creatures. Alrighty, so. Let's see, how long did it take us to travel out to where we were? Half the day or something? One yeah, day so. to get to the village. Then... One day to get out to where we are from the gnome. We only lose two hexes. It's, it's afternoon. But it's not on okay. a road, so it's slower. It's three on a road, too, about, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yes. So, if Half you travel back to Gnometropolis, then... Uh, it'd be evening when we get there. Yeah, beginning of the evening. If you want to travel to uh, Elmore, uh, you'll get to the outskirts. And what what uh, what effects are we going to have from not being able to rest? Like, I mean, we we basically did not get any sleep last night. Is is there a penalty for that yet, or does uh, that only take place after a couple of days? Uh, I'm not going to penalize it right now. Right, I would, I would suggest we move, we move back to the village first. There's one more option that I can talk about while we're going back to the town. Okay, might as well. Uh, so we're, we pretty much decided we're heading back. I say, you know, we can, uh, I can disguise some of us. It'd probably be difficult to disguise the uh, Arthur. He could stay with the gnomes, and we could look like you know just uh, wandering in new peoples. Uh, between Zook and I, we can probably conjure up some good disguises to have us look like new people just wandering into town, unsuspecting of them, and get the drop on them. That that is a brilliant idea. That even if you were not able to get the drop on them, simply luring them out would would be a great help. Let's keep Arthur and the other gnomes uh, outside the the town a little bit, and we go in just to just get a to giant bush. <laughs> yeah. and Arthur and move it slowly. In it. A little step, okay. Stop. Wait, step, I have step. this. <laughs> I have this cardboard box. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just move under it a little bit and stop, and then move and then stop. <laughs> All right. So, assuming nobody argues with the plan, I think. I think we're at least going to move back to the town, and then, you know, Drop before we get then... into into sight of the town. Um, yeah, I mentioned that to everybody except yeah. for the gnomes. Just well, since I was quietly. guarding the gnomes away from everyone else. Oh no, we're we're now heading. This is on the. Don't way you back. have I'm a super secret you link with Recluse? Yeah, but I can't start it. He. Oh. I guess he could and have started I it could, before. I didn't I went try to because I thought y'all were not gonna, you know, like, come up with that. I figured I'd be told what was going on before we just took off. Well, you would be told okay. as we're leaving. Yeah, okay. I'd well, bring you off to the side. And... 
And good since you. it's a good relative day's journey back, I will... Half a day, yeah. Half a day, whatever. I will go to a, another secluded spot and attempt to charm three other gnomes to try to get them to be more friendly towards us as well. As I can do. Alrighty. Now I so, would like to note that before we set did back... I su succeed? Did I fail? I have to do saving throws on all of them. Uh -huh. Uh, yep, you succeed. Okay, so now four of the twelve are... don't think we're stupid. And remain. Yeah, Alright, like, so... so at we least could, for the next uh, couple hours. <laughs> we, we could put yeah, me in well, the wagon. <laughs> but then you guys have... Um, yeah, that I would, would be tough. I would like to mention that uh, I have I have cut the gnomes bindings before we before we head back you know right. after we explain that we're taking them back and uh you know we we did this because we thought they were in danger and uh the the succubi uh you know had, had been influencing them but we are we are taking them back all right so uh you guys uh turn around and uh, head back into town uh, before, before we get into the town, though, we're going to set up our little ruse. How many people can you disguise and what is precisely involved? Well, this is mostly just a disguise so we can get into town, and if they're looking out for people, that they would say, oh, look, there's new people coming in. So this is not a skill you have? Uh, it is a skill I have. Well, that's what I'm size. asking. Like, how many people and what what is involved? Like, do I have to take off my plate mail? Probably. Um, I would probably stay with Arthur then. Let me read up on it. Your disguise check determines how good the disguise is and is opposed by other spot checks. If you don't draw any attention to yourself, others do not make spot checks. If you come to the attention of people who are suspicious, such as a guard, it can be assumed that such observers are uh, taking 10 on their spot checks. You get only one disguise check per use of the skill, even if several people are making spot checks against it. So let's see here. Minor details only is... Um, probably i uh, probably not doing just minor details only probably like dressing this up a little bit differently different color clothes uh hats and so forth if we can you know make those hoods or whatever just trying to make you guys up so that uh, we look different as a party coming in i suppose i could wear like a cloak over my armor yeah take off my helmet wear a hood it would just be making it so that we would spot them about the same time as they would spot us without any kind of recognition until, you know, uh, we go, aha, type thing. <laughs> okay, so is Ruth everybody... Should... Ruth should stay with uh, Arthur, too, then. Yeah. It'd be I, hard I was... to disguise her. It takes they, quite a while of work for me to put together a disguise. It takes 1d3 times 10 minutes of work for each disguise. And you could do that while we're traveling. Yeah, I'm assuming Zook would be helping out too a little yeah, bit. I think we're about equal in um, disguise skill. What's yours at? Seven. Yeah, mine's All eight, right. so we're about We equal. cast invisibility on my top half, and I become a pack horse. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> It, with no head and silent image. Just body of horse. <laughs> I have to make like some kind of mock up of a, a horse's head. No, no, no. <laughs> we cast invisibility and silent image on his top half. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can do that. Of course and oh you're gonna be a pack horse. I was gonna say somebody's gotta ride you or you're gonna have stuff on you. But if you make him always pull the wagon. He's fast enough to wear if he hears the sound of battle, he can charge into the I town. I suggest we don't come in on I could run like that 70 feet around. Arouse more suspicion. 80 yeah, feet, actually. Be in the same group. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, Bunko, do you want us to roll the, these disguise checks before we get to town or only after we get to town? Uh, we'll wait <clears throat> till uh, somebody uh, is trying to see through it. Got it. Gotcha. 
Okay, so I make all the mock-up. It says minor details, and the next level jumps all the way to disguise his different gender. So minor yeah, details is too. not exactly just a little bit, I would appear. Yeah, I know. Well, it doesn't take a, a huge up. change to look like a different person. Right. If Dawson was still around. So, you know, different hair color, <laughs> yeah. facial hair, that kind of thing. Because, you know, like, when people look at you... They almost always look at, like, random, superficial things about right. you. Whatever stuck out. Yeah, so, I think it would be between minor details and disguises. Different right. stuff. Alright. So, you guys, um... Is everybody going into town? I think we can. I think the plan is it. I'm staying outside. But. Yeah. I mean, we and couldn't answer it at all, but then the uh, the gnomes are not guarded anymore. I the impression anymore. that those that weren't being disguised were walking back with the gnomes. And so. Us we're falling back in disguise. Yeah. The, the gnomes are no longer bonded. Right, right. So they're wait, going wait, wait, to wait. go don't back don't to know. town. If, I don't think I don't we think should we let should. them go yet. I think we should. Uh, my. Disguising is for us to come in as unsuspecting and that way be the best to, uh, you know, be the next targets of the succubus. Well, they're already if untied. The, if the other gnomes come in, they're going to work on getting them back under their control first since their will's already been broken. Well, you can do that if you ride ahead of the group. Yeah, we could ride ahead. It's not, I mean, we have horses no. and they have a wagon. Okay, yeah. We can, we can come in on horses. get there first. There's no way they can catch up. They're gnomes. Because the male gnomes would give us away quicker. Yeah. Because they're like, oh yeah, we saw our building and all those clothes no, just... and that disguise. Hey, then look at that. It's I mean, I, I figure. Us. I figure it's like we have, we have Ruth with some. Wasn't Ruth staying because she might be easily identified or something? Somebody oh, was yeah. staying. All right. So you would Arthur. you would be with the wagon, like keeping keeping your eye on the wagon so the gnomes don't steal it. And then Arthur is with you, and if, you know, if... Uh, as Nuke back up. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's back up. Um, and the rest of us are riding ahead on horses, and it's like we are, we are just travelers uh, riding in on horses, and we look different, and we are different in number. So that's, that's the assumption. Yeah. If you really want to get crazy, you could change your genders. Yeah, but that's... Uh, that's a little bit ambitious. <laughs> Plus it's a minus two to the... Uh, you don't have an alter smoke. self, do you? Unfortunately, no. Yeah, I do so. a polymorph, which is the better uh, form of that. The cloud would come back as a dog. It only lasts for one minute to level. <laughs> Alright, so that's that's how we're approaching things, Bunko. Like, we're... I think we're probably riding... You know... You want to be a horse cloud? Not a huge deal ahead of, of the gnomes in the wagon, but enough to where they're definitely not within sight of, of the village uh, for, for you know, half an hour at least. Yep. If, if, more our, fiber, right, if our ruse doesn't draw them out within like the first five minutes, then it's not going to work. All right. Okay, so the people on horses um, uh, reach the town first, disguised. Uh, the town is uh, empty. Uh, you Hello? Is anyone here? Uh, you just hear creaking sounds from the wind coming through the city. Perhaps uh, perhaps we should make our way to uh, to the inn to make it look like we are seeking shelter. Look for the inn first. Yeah. Line it. So that's, that's what we do. Alright. Got to the front of the inn. Uh, listen checks. This is for the horse people. 
riding oh, horses, oh, not okay. the horse people. Well, I am a horse people. You mean, you, mean, you mean the people riding horses or the actual horse people? The people yeah, that rode ahead. ahead. Oh, oh, okay. Alright. Um, the people who did not ride ahead do spot checks. That's Ruth and Arthur. That one. <laughs> Arthur Damn. has an has a gnat in his eye. Thankfully, Ruth has a decent spot. All right. So, Durian hears uh, some faint rumbling. Uh, is not sure exactly what it is, other than it's. Uh, far away. Um, it's in the abyss of open. <laughs> could it... I know you, you say I I don't know what it is, but could it feasibly be like a, a wagon or a cart? Uh, if it is a wagon or a cart, it is a lot of wagons and a cart. Because um, it's... Uh, it sounds like uh, more than one... Do I get a direction? Uh, roll it again. No. Uh, no. All right, I I stop. You know, I'm I'm fully cloaked in my my armor and everything, and I hold up a hand and I say, uh, I I hear something. It, it very very odd. It sounds like there's something. Something large approaching. Or perhaps... I, I don't know. It, it, very odd. I just look around. Okay. Um, now we're in town when you say this? I, 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 I assume we're at the foot of the inn. Yes. Okay. So. Um, as far as Ruth... Ruth sees a large uh, group of men on horseback riding west, um, to the west into the city. Uh, they are between um, the rest of the party and uh, Ruth and uh, uh, Arthur. We can see the city from here? And how here? are they dressed? It's the plains. It's... Wow. Uh, they are, look like they are... Um, Guards or patrol, uh, some kind of uh, um, cavalry that is um, uh, moving towards the gnome town. Gnome Tropolis. I'll point this out to Arthur and say, let's ride ahead. <laughs> let's leave the gnomes to catch up. I think that might be necessary. All right. So, uh, people in town uh, do a listen in spot. Darian's helmet somehow amplifies his uh the yep. Yeah, you notice that, huh? Alright. Uh Darian uh okay. So uh Darian now notices that the rumbling is now getting louder and is coming from the east. Uh would I be able to guess by now that it, it could at least feasibly guess that it could be Sounds a like large a shit group ton of, of archers. Sounds like a shit ton of Arthur coming your way. Uh, it's sounds like a bunch of rumblings. It could be horses, it could be Is it along the something underground. It could Can I at least get a like the east is, is where the road is. So did we see these guys leaving? Because if it's a flat plane and we can see the town, I find it hard to believe that we didn't see them now if we took a whole day to get here from the town riding our own horses. You guys, well, one, it's at night right now. It, well, you, you said have, 
early, early evening. Well, yeah, early evening night. The um, you guys have were reached into the town. Your guys are now in the town. It's obscuring your view um, because of the buildings. Uh, the people that are outside of the town can clearly see because they have no buildings in the way. Uh, so I, 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 I say I, I think there's, I think there's a large. It, 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 it sounds like there's a large group on the road. That that could be the only thing that I can think of. Well, it could be something underground too. No, I mean you. You said it was from the east. The road is to the east, and, and east logic. Or west? No, that he said the sound was coming from the east. Yeah. Um, and so my character is not like what? What is my character going to think of when he hears this sort of thing? Is he going to think there's like a giant worm underground, which he has Patrol. no experience with, or is he going to think it, it's a it, bunch of people even on, if we did on hear, horseback, hear, which he does it, have? It'd be more likely with. to be the other way around. We would hear a giant worm underground and think it was horses, and the fear yeah. horses and think it was a worm. Yeah. So I mean, I am. I am assuming by now, since since I'm hearing it from the direction of the road, that this is literally the only thing that I can reasonably assume it can be is, is a large group of riders moving very fast. Don't see why they would come here, but... Do a wisdom check. All of us? No, just, uh, just Durian. Christ, I need to get more wisdom. They would happily come here if, oh, a succubus had charmed their leader. Yikes. So, so, do you expect from stat checks from your worst stat? So, uh, you think it's possible that it could be horses, but you're not exactly sure. Yeah, I mean, that's what I said. I said it could be horses. Like, I I am playing my character, and my character literally does not have a basis of knowledge to assume that anything else could, like, a rumbling, he either equates to, like, large amount of horses or, like, a dragon or something, and there's no dragon in the sky. And there's no avalanche. So that's, I mean, that's that's my guess. And that's what I'm saying. All right. All right, so what does the group in the town do? I suggest we go inside the inn. Where there is no one at. We don't know if there's anybody inside there. I think I would think we'd probably like talk to the coming riders if they decide to stop there and explain the situation. If they're approaching this quickly and, and in this number there is something urgent. Yeah, they might be riding out to attack the orcs from the neighboring Trump, so... I, I don't think that they would be galloping. That is quite a, quite a day's ride. They, they would be marching. Hypothetically, okay. even if the succubuses uh, came and convinced them to come after us, I don't think they would send that many, but... Or, being xenophobic like they are, they might just not want gnomes living one day away from their city. Yeah. Um, well, they've I been think, here, right? I say... It was small. Whatever the reason, I have a bad feeling about about this. Uh, we, we should either hide, or we should move out into the open. By no means should we look like we are looting the town. Remember, oh, we, we, we aren't, are, we so... Are <laughs> travelers just arrived here. Exactly. So why not head into the inn? We should be. We we came. We've looked around. We're sitting in the inn, waiting for, hoping someone comes to feed us and or sitting in the watching. inn by yourselves. That only works if we've just arrived, because there's obviously no one here now. The problem is the gnomes will be here shortly. Yes. We, we will not have a story to back us up. Well, we have the truth, but which they're going to deny, and we're outnumbered. That's what it comes down to. 
The uh, people that are outside the city, uh, it is evident to you that you are not going to be able to catch up to the group of men on horseback before they reach the city. I think I think we should hide. Uh, let us uh, let us find the nearest woods and uh, and make our way there. And unless, of course, you you think we cannot cannot get away. Well, if it, we can it would see look them, they can see us. us if, well, if, well, we on the bright side, us us in the town can't see them. Oh, well. Lead the town the opposite direction, I suppose, and go to the woods. If you think they could, if they could track us, then fleeing would be of no use. Horse prints? Yeah, they could probably track us if they so desired. Of course, they would just see horse prints coming, and then no horse prints going. They would probably think we looted the town and killed everyone. That's probably what's going to happen. But About how many are there? The simplest way to dissuade them that we're doing no wrong is to, is to be here and forthright with them. Ruth and Arthur should know. That is yes. that is a good question. It's about twenty. Yes, yeah, so where's the blood on the swords? Where's the loot in our bags? I doubt right. they'll find any evidence to support that we came here to do any wrongdoing. We're just travelers going right. across them, the road. We also have no Let evidence find to support us in our the own town. story. So, and and remember, at least four of the gnomes will consider us friends, or at least they were. Yes, I I suppose it would look it would look worse if they found us after running. Uh, let us, let us, uh, in front of the, uh, the inn and, uh, and wait inside. Or we could even stand out here and wait to greet them. Well, that works too. I have no problem I, with that. I guess in that case, I will, I will remain on my horse. All right. We await the riders. The marauding raiders of death to come in. <laughs> All right. You are just standing outside or inside or? Yeah, we're up I think on maybe the porch. People, I would vote like standing a couple people are... It's more realistic to think if we heard that number of horses, we would come look. Yeah, that's what It depends on how long it is of a wait. If it's like more than a minute, then I'm going to get off the horse and get onto the porch. You may get on the porch. Okay. All right, so uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the uh, so you guys are on the porch of the inn, and uh, you now see about twenty uh, men on horseback, uh, heavily armed and armored, uh, arrive in front of the inn. They have the flag of Almor uh, flying with them. And <clears throat> they, uh, a couple of them get off the horse and start to approach. Um, they ask you, uh, what is your, uh, what are you doing here? Hail! We came to, we came to stop at this hamlet for the evening. Good evening to you. We, uh, we were staying here, uh, the, the, the previous night, but, uh, but I will I will come out and, and, and say it. we uh, we discovered evidence of uh, of demonic possession here and we uh, we were attacked by uh, what we believe to be succubi. Is that right? It is yes. indeed. We have news from a passing traveler that overheard a loud booming voice in human I knew that was a mistake that, uh, that they were going to kill all of the gnomes I don't see any gnomes do you uh, not yet are you guys human do some I of us human? are some of us are human yes I think there is. Reckless said, "Are you human?" Yes. Speak up for the gnomes. There's two of us are humans. Three. Three. Alton's human too. And also, no, I'm not. I'm not human. 
Oh, what? what are you? Really? I'm a half elf. Oh yeah, you're half. Oh well, uh, same half human. <laughs> you make still, the same It would still sounds. appear human voice. <laughs> we were t the voice that was heard was simply trying to lure out the succubi. We were only trying to but kill we, them. We didn't yell that out, did we? So where are the gnomes? Yeah. yeah, they are. They are coming back with our compatriots. We 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 moved away from the town when it became clear that we could not uh, we could not deal with the succubi here. So we 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 moved the uh, the gnomes so away to attempt to break that the. Moving a bunch of gnomes outside of a city would save you from these eluded succubi. No, no, we moved them gnomes. outside the city in order to break their enchantment upon them because they were yes. obviously enchanted. Obviously. Yes. Obviously. obviously. They were working themselves to the point of death. I don't think we've come across a Bunko character that is not an asshole. Welcome to Bunko's campaign, I guess. So, uh... Again, uh, where are these gnomes? They are on the way with our friends. We merely rode ahead in an attempt to see if the, the succubi were still here. Are they? We have yet not, to encounter them. We've only not that we can them. tell. We arrived about 45 seconds before you. Oh, that's oh. a good thing. And then a lot of the soldiers chuckled. They look across the plane. They should be able to see the big group of gnomes. Well, biggish group of gnomes, if yeah, it's like that it, flat. As, Unless they're blind. She, she showed up already. <laughs> A uh, what? Is Ruth arrived yet? No, you're with with the, with the gnomes, gnomes, man. No. He said we were riding. Ruth arrived yet? From she was with with Arthur. Has she arrived yet? She's typing. Oh, she would yeah. Have Ruth and Arthur shown up yet. yet? Ruth and Arthur are almost arriving. Yes. Okay. So Ruth, that's not ready yet. You can't say that yet. <laughs> so. Oh, I don't. I don't really understand this situation here. I mean, uh, there was a thriving gnome village here, and now there's no gnomes. You guys kidnapped. Certainly, you, you no. You certainly, kidnapped you, you heard of the destruction of the village weeks ago, and certainly you heard the tales that had had been spun in the. Uh, in the inns of Alhamlor, about uh, about the party who who brought the survivors from the northwest back to the village. Yeah, we heard of those myths. Myths? They were us. Those were not myths at all. It was I who announced it in the inn of Al at Alhamlor. So why you look different then? We are trying to lure out the succubus. Uh, point of order here, they wouldn't know what we look like. There's they no, do if there's... you murdered somebody from the inn, and they are guards from the city. <laughs> no, but it's not like... You told have... us they didn't care about We that. don't have clay noses and stuff. I literally just have like a, a cloak over my, my armor and a hood over my head. And I, I mean... It, it's it's literally made to fool people from a distance. Like it's not like I look like a, a different person. Okay, so recluse is like that. Recluse that uh, pulls off her top of her cloak hood and said, "Yes, it was I who brought the news that uh, a half elf had been killed outside the inn in the morning to you." So, the people who killed a half elf in the city have now abducted. A whole town of gnomes who are coming back, of course. And there Correct. were some succubus that were here who aren't here now. And uh, except, so I need to trust you again. Yes, that is the complete truth, officer. I am fully capable of, of leaving any kind of truth test you'll want to do because it is the absolute truth. We have nothing more to tell you than that because it is the truth. If you choose to, like, you know, you can always disbelieve us. But all we have is your word and our word, and that's what it comes down to. There's always a zone of truth, though. Well, yeah, we know how that went last time. So, uh, the, uh, uh, Ruth and Arthur are now back. 
are now entering the town. See, here are our companions now, escorting the gnomes. There um, are no gnomes with them. The I gnomes see. are behind us. Um, so where are they? The gnomes were with them, dude. No, they rode off. Oh, we ran ahead. They rode off away to catch us. Oh God! <laughs> so much. <laughs> so much. So much for gnomes. our plan. So, um, I think uh, you all need to come back to Alhamlora with us. And, if you uh, will ride, ride about uh, five minutes to the southeast, there is a bunch of gnomes right there. You said that there, this was Plains Bunko, and that we could see their freaking town. So, I mean, you were the one that set the precedent that we could see miles. And there what's, is no place what's to hide. The, issue? <laughs> the they point should be able to see the gnomes. They're in the city as well. Okay, we're in, go, go we were in the city. city. We rode southeast with the gnomes, and then when the we just rode se- northwest... The, the gnomes were coming back here. You said that. Yeah. yeah. Unless they suddenly changed route, at which point they wouldn't even arrive, and they'd be clearly visible on the plane. They can't, we're on horseback, there's no way they could outrun us, which is why we're here in the first place ahead of them. And they were with us the entire time. We were never told Except that they left like our presence. 15 and, minutes ago. And they, not even that, like, it, it, it's been at most 10, and that means they're, like, at most 10 minutes away visually over the plains. There's no way they can get to the city in time. They're, they're, they're still out there with, either with they, the, they with the like wagon, or right they're out here. on foot. <laughs> and if, if, anyways, if they went to the town and complained in the first place, they wouldn't have this band of people here. Complaining about the town being vacated. Oh uh, well, the, the people the, were told in the first place, right? The timeline works for them showing up, but we're not. They weren't told by the gnomes. Well, he just said the gnomes are in the town. Gnomes aren't in the town. Gnomes are still outside the town because you guys abandoned them outside the town. Just said yeah, but they're within visual ago. range. They should be in sight range if it's this flat. Bunko was said. talking about the riders were in town. Riders are in town right now, talking to you guys. They do not have line of sight outside of the town, as you guys didn't have line as of sight. As I said, if they would ride five, five minutes to the southeast, there they not are. Not even that. And you guys aren't letting me talk. You guys keep on arguing. So, the <laughs> the guard says to some of the riders to go check on what you guys say. The riders leave town. The main guard asks, does anybody else have anything to add to the situation here? We will be waiting here for your, your friends to arrive with, uh, with news to verify our story. The I, gnomes I make will no probably be antagonistic because we kind of did tie them up because they were under the influence when we Arthur, kept them away. Arthur, shut the fuck that, up. That, that, that's the, that's that is truth. worse than them finding it out. We did take them away against their will. Uh, it was for their own good, but they so it is better for them for us to tell them right away than it is for them to hear the gnome's story. They have their own wills as well. So when we arrived, they would do nothing but working themselves to death, rebuilding a quote unquote bigger than normal town to rival Alhamlor. So which what would never happen overnight? What is uh, Ruth and Zook doing here? I'm reading chat. I think that's what Ruth was supposed to have said when she arrived into town. Am I right, Ruth? Ruth is right now trying to keep from saying anything bad. <laughs> that was the will save? Okay, so... Yeah, he asked if we had anything to say. The only things that are popping into her mind shouldn't be said at this <laughs> moment. <laughs> so she's doing the will save. Alright. Is there any... Uh, they They did not know that this town had burned down over two weeks ago. They have no idea of that. You can ask them. Okay. Were you aware that this town burned down nearly two weeks ago? We patrol this land. Of course we knew that it got burned down. And then how do you explain this town popping up overnight if you do such patrols? Because they came back and they started to rebuild the city. When did they come back? Fucking yesterday. 
It wasn't fucking yesterday. It was. It was. You did your yesterday. cure adventure. That was one day. That wasn't even one yeah, day. That was, was literally like night. overnight. That's all that was. Okay, two you days. Guys, it was like three days. No, you it wasn't. Went, it was overnight. <coughs> you guys went back to the to town. Okay, three days. Yes. Does this look like three days worth of building to you, sir? Uh, it would be remarkable, but it's possible. Exactly. From twelve gnomes. This is why we we got involved. Twelve gnomes, huh? Do you have yes. to death. Do you have a holy man amongst you? Not here. We don't. Can you send Shake for one? Shake my head. What, we what don't sort have, of? I don't have much use for holy men out in the on the horses. Oh uh, well. Make sure you remember that when uh, when we get into combat and you suddenly start having them heal. That was OOC, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. I could have healing pots. All right. So the uh, the guards that were sent out to scout have brought back the gnomes. Yay! See. Uh, they are con now conversing with the gnomes. Several of them look very angry, pointing fingers at you guys. Who would have guessed? And the guard says, uh, okay, so, uh, the story of uh, you guys uh, capturing them and taking them away and coming back is at least checking out. Uh, as far as succubuses go, uh, they don't have any information about that. Because they were under the succubuses' influence when they were taken away. So I suggest you guys uh, come with us back to Alhamur and uh, we can uh, talk more about this. That will not be happening. What, what did they say about the women gnomes that were here? That they ran off because uh, you saw, they saw you uh, capturing the males. And it wouldn't be best to find them first before we go and then get their story as well? I don't see how, what that would do. We have 12 gnomes here that are now uh, telling us that you captured them. Slight point. Should um, I have eight? Not slight 12. point here. No, no, um, <laughs> But four of them should be m way more friendly, or at least neutral. Yeah, yeah. giving them a different story. Charm person is only one hour per level. Yes, and when it's all Been over, the, uh, the two charm persons would have neutralized, and wouldn't they have some leftover influence? When charm person wears off, it usually goes back to the way they were. Ah, okay, I tried. Uh, uh, minor, so minor point here. Um. They they remember everything that went on the previous night, right? In general, yes. Charm person should not yes. have memories. All right, so they don't remember um, the uh, uh, jewel convulsing on the floor, and then telling you know it, telling everybody about. Uh, her experience in the cave and how she felt something dark entering in her. There were two of them were in the room and several of them were at the door. Well, that, uh, that is a gray area on the story, but, um, the fact is that you touched this person and then she convulsed and then was making oh, stories, uh, is also a possibility. We're going to have to get the priesthood involved in this shit. But these guards don't seem to like the priesthood, so. Alright. I guess we're going back to Alamar. I'm, Say I'm, goodbye not, I'm to not going your, with them. Uh, mages go for a wild cloud. <laughs> At this rate, I'm likely to ever see it outside of this town, let alone Burray. You have. Plus, we literally don't interact with anyone. That's the way this campaign seems so far. Don't interact with anyone until you get your destination. Where were you when this town was attacked by the uh, the orcs before? Hobgoblins. Yeah, but yeah. I wasn't there. We were patrolling. You, I, you are from here, right? No. Do the do the gnomes claim to be, or do they claim to be saying that we are the ones that freed them from the mine? Or are they discounting that too? 
They are it. saying that you freed them from the mind, yes. So okay, why so why the hell would we free treat them, them badly? Yes. That's why you need to go back to the city to uh, fill out your more story in more detail. You have gotten the story as it is. The truth should be enough for you. I will not submit to the law of, of a corrupt uh, city which does not protect those within its regions and only shows up after the fact to, uh, to harass those which protect its own citizens. We have done nothing wrong, and in fact, we have only been here to help these gnomes. They can attest to all of our actions and all of our explanations. Whether they believe it or not, it does not change the truth. Well, it's a short ride back to Alhamlar, so uh, please uh, gather your things and uh, yeah, 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 we will be going. Ride, is, this guy, uh, is this guy in front of everybody, like on his horse? He's one of the guys that are on the ground talking to you. Are we riding tonight? Why don't we stay here for the evening and go in the morning? I say, turn around and leave. I will not be going with you, and I do not think my friends, uh, my friends feel the same way. Uh, I have no problems going and filling out their logs if that's what they want. Well, I will not be going. I'm personally inclined to follow the law and go fill out the darn log. And come well, back I'm not, I am not lawful. I am, in fact, chaotic good, so I have to do this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> out of character. Um, yeah, I'm stuck being this kind of the same way, even though my instinct is to go with them. And, <laughs> uh, character. and I will yeah, say... I don't uh, wish to go with you either. I will I turn to the rest, of the rest of the party and I say, we have, we have other business that we must attend to. If, if, if these succubi are not hunted down... They will affect more. Every every minute we we waste going back to El Hamlor and and dealing with these uh, with these bureaucrats will be another minute that they get away. Well, well if they're well. not here, we have no clue where they went. I can't track through the air. Hell. The guard, turns, the, town yet? the guard turns to the gnomes and uh, starts to uh, talk to them. Um, the guard turns back around and says, If you are not willing to come back to Alhamlor to uh, fill out uh, your story, uh, then uh, you may be banished from the Hamlor lands and never to return. It's your, uh, it's your decision. I just stand there and I don't even say anything. Durian, if you don't do this, the you'll be banished from the lands and you won't be able to help the town one way or the other. <laughs> this is one of those chaos versus good type things. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'll think some more as this guy's talking to the gnomes. Have we even checked the town yet? Well, we already looked around the town and found absolutely nothing, which isn't surprising okay. since they can literally look like whatever they want. Well, considering I travel a lot, my character decides to go fill out the paperwork because he doesn't wish to be banished from the land, even though he doesn't trust these guards. Well, what about the fact that the four are missing women gnomes? Are we not even concerned about them at all? Succubus or not succubus, if you don't believe our story. You're just going to ride off and hope they didn't die out there and succumb to the elements, uh, Mr. Guard? Our orders are to find who these captors. First, we had, uh, order, we, has, we originally had, uh, somebody coming through town saying that uh, all of the gnomes were going to die. Obviously, all of the gnomes didn't die. But we have bigger pressing matters to attend to. Like the what? Gnomes Paperwork? Are, the gnomes are from this land and stuff. And if they are out there, they'll come back. Say someone came through the town, the town of Alhamlor, and said this? Yes. That would likely be one of the succubuses then, because they were no, the only he, ones who were there. 
He we have uh, these twelve, and if someone else ran through town and said that, I don't know if you if you didn't yeah, hear this, well. Cloud. But he said <laughs> that he said that Zook's giant magnif you know magnaphone uh, attracted somebody's attention from the road. No, he, he just said it was through town. In, in, no, he, in, in and, and then he no, and then he went to town. Yeah, someone was traveling and overheard but, me but trying to day? lure the succubi. Yes, that was yesterday, Cloud. Oh. Before we left. Yeah, How I remember that, but I didn't really give a ever. How typical for you to, to ride out and seek not to help those under your charge, but instead to just blame others for doing your job for them, for you. Hey, you, least corporal. <laughs> what gnome? I am from here. This is my home. Was. Till it was burned down. You said you were patrolling when this was burned down? Uh, yes, more than likely. And you were patrolling this area the day after also? We are patrolling all of the borders of a Hummelor. So you didn't notice the warband hauling prisoners and gnomes in the direction of a Hummelor? It's a lot of land. I mean, they virtually camped right outside the damn gates. And you didn't know something. If you haven't noticed, Norse was taken by the orcs. Norse is very deep in our homelore land. We're con continuously patrolling our borderlands to try to protect us from the uh, orc invasions. So, so you're ineffective, yes. aren't you? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so kind border of moves. I, didn't, I didn't see that. Aha. Interesting. The border used to cut across there, right? No, it's always been like that, actually. Oh, well then, you said NOS, N-O-S? Yeah, it's yeah, like that's that's at the beginning. That's in another land, then. That's in Tromso. So it was taken by themselves? <laughs> Tromso, no, Tromso the took it. We're in Alhamor right now. Tromso is the orc land. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tromso took it from Alhamor fairly recently. That's why I have to ask that the border had been changed. Okay, interesting. So, please bow up the people who do not want to be banished, and uh, so that we can go back to town. To be clear, you are not charging us or arresting us. Uh, by not following the guard's orders, you are uh, essentially breaking the law and uh, being uh, unlawful. Well, Arthur, being as he would have to go through this land to get back to his, is not interested in uh, picking off this land super hugely. So, But if we return <laughs> you to the city, we are not by default under arrest, correct? Not unless we find uh, something to your story to uh, have to indict you. Just, Just out of curiosity, what do you expect to find back in Alhemlar that you can't do here with an investigation? Uh, people with spells. Ah. So you're going to find someone to cast some type of trick spell on us. That is how it's usually done, unless the people are truthful at first. Which we were. We'll see. I turn to... Crap, let's start to Durian and... I trust them no more than you do, my friend, but if we, it would probably be simpler to go back. I, I glare at... wish to be banished, and I doubt you do too, if you want wish to truly help these people as you seem to be. I glare at the, the guard. What is your name? Johnson. <laughs> Another? Oh, boy, that's two or three of them. <laughs> You have a family I see in in the town. Yeah, I'll remember this guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna mount up. 
All right, that's good. Uh, so, because next option was uh, Arthur picking you up and carrying you back to town. So no, I, I, that <laughs> wouldn't happen. I was just working on convincing him. I unfortunately got a fifteen on that roll. All right. So everybody packs up and goes with the guards. Yep. Yes. All right. To a point. Time for law court law indeed. indeed. Um. <laughs> so everybody do a spot check. You better hope that my character does not spot a succubi. <laughs> Otherwise, the things are going to go to shit. Me and Ruth had really Ruth, good damn. Oh, Ruth Foster, dang. Me and Ruth and Foster have pretty good roles there. Alright, you guys are... You guys are um, exiting the town. Uh, the gnomes are pretty happy that you are all leaving now. Uh, cheering. The gnomes have to come and give their story too. The gnomes don't need to. Taking their spells on us. So the um. If you're going to bring us, you need to bring the gnomes too. And feed them. Says it is not needed. Yes, it is. At least a couple, if anything. You're going to trust their story face values, but not ours. So, uh, you guys are exiting the town. Only if they bring they gnomes bring with them. them. If they want to get the full get story, the they have to have the gnomes have to. Alright. One of the gnomes volunteers to come along. And, uh, you guys are exiting the town. Uh, Foster, Zook, and Ruth see four female gnomes up on the roof, waving of by. Course. Of course. The DC was the DC 20. Was... Uh, yes. Damn it. So, that would be our session for tonight. <laughs> Ruth stands up in her saddle and waves back. <laughs> oh, that. I hope you don't do that. Why not? Because I'm going to turn to look to see who you're waving at. Fine. That should be fine. Uh, as far as I know, Sukhavai can't turn invisible. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Change form? Yes. Turn invisible? No. How much changing can they do? Can they turn into something Alter smaller? self? I'm fairly sure it's at will as many times <laughs> as they want. <laughs> it's a charm person at will and disguise self. Yeah, they got <laughs> tons of annoying abilities. Usually they're so not they used in this size. way. They, they are highly adept at bluff. Yeah, as yeah. far as the game systems goes, they can just roll their way out of basically anything. We don't have the spells that we would require well, to pin them down yet. Technically, we gave away the item we could have used to do that. Sold. Those goggles. Yeah. Sold. Yeah. The goggles that let you identify outsiders. We sold Sucked those? Up. Really? Yep. I, yeah. sa I said I was going to put them back in the party yeah. loot for the goggles of um, Eyes of the Eagle. I asked if anyone else wanted them. No one else wanted them. They were sold. I totally see, would I was, <laughs> See, I was planning this all along. And then when you guys found those goggles, I'm all, oh shit, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do this earlier than I had expected. And nobody put it on, yeah. And nobody used that stuff. Well, and I had them on Then when you guys got back time, to the city, but... you guys noticed how prickish the the female gnomes were, but Those then you guys just went, eh, whatever. They actually <laughs> were on until I got the Eyes Well, of the Eagle, to be fair, that was. all of our experience with the female gnomes of Ruth's village have been Ruth. So I think everybody yeah. assumed that they were just all bitches. Yeah, we, we, yeah. We, well, <laughs> also, it doesn't help that every time we've been asking Ruth, is this normal for the town? And she just always wasn't there or just wouldn't answer. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't exactly give us volumes of information about her nice little town. Yeah, I get the distinction that she mostly slept outside and kept away from her own people even a bit. So, Bunko, I take it any action we take towards what we just saw would take place next session? Yep. Okay. Stopping stream.